Hello chaps and chapesses, and this week we're going to talk about the fish pond burrito bag. The funny thing about fishing tackle, apart from the fact that we all want lots of it, is that every so often someone comes up with something which is really clever. Not only really clever, but really simple. Quite often the best solutions to difficult situations is actually the simplest solution. And that is what Fish Pond has done with the new burrito bag. So what does it do? It's a waiter bag. Really boring. I know, I hear you say, it's a waiter bag. Yeah, but it's a wader bag, which is something that everybody who's a fly fisherman who has to wear waders and boots and stuff like that should have, because it's really small, it compacts down to this, and then suddenly it goes into this. With all your waders and boots and all that kind of horrible gunky stuff that you have at the end of the day. And actually all you want to do is throw it in the car without messing up your car, so you can go home. It does a great job. I know at the end of a long day's fishing when I'm tired um, and I've probably got a load of other bits and pieces I've got to put away, I've got to tackle down all the gear, I've got to get all of that kind of stuff sorted out. Then it comes to your waders, you know your boots are covered in muck and gunk and you're kind of thinking, oh, yeah. this is a really simple solution. All it is is a big 210 denier PU coated bag with a built-in changing mat. And a nice big changing mat. You know, sometimes you see these wader bags and they're tiny weeny and you've got to stand on it as if you're some kind of shrew. But luckily this one's really big. So you just get on it, you take all the stuff up, you roll it all up in the mat, and then you just bung it inside the bag, pull the drawstring, and Robert's your father's brother, you're done. You just chuck it in the car and go home and sort it out on another day, probably. That's what normally happens to me. Now the big issue I've had with wader bags in the past is they get too complicated. They're sort of rigid structured bags which they just take it to too much of a level. It's just yet another massive piece of luggage that you've got to lug around which I really don't want. The thing I love about this burrito bag, so called because when it's rolled up it looks a little bit like a burrito, is just that it's incredibly lightweight and very compact. And that says it all to me, makes life very easy. So let's talk about a few of the features of this bag. It has a big built-in changing mat. It has a web strap on either side, which means you can grab it from any angle. It means it's very grabbable. It has a drawstring with a closure on the top, which means you can just pull it all tight and chuck it in the back of the car. And it also has a strap for carrying it over your shoulder if you need to, normally when you are weighed down, going down to the river or some such thing, carrying coolers and extra rods and bags and equipment and then this is just an easy way for you to carry all your stuff. So the full capacity of the bag is 3,600 square inches. That's a lot of bag. In normal terms it measures 30 inches by 19 inches by 4 and it expands dramatically. There you are. This adheres to the wonderful principle of KISS. Keep it simple, stupid. As with most bags and most articles like this that Fish Pond make, it's really well built. It's made of a good thick strong material which is going to last you for ages and it's built to take abuse which is what we as fishermen tend to put our kit through. Well I know I certainly put my kit through some serious abuse so anything that's going to survive a length of time with me has got to be okay. The bag retails at £59.99 of your earth pence and I know that seems quite a lot for a thin denier bag like that, but it just fills a niche, which so many other bags don't. And it's just simple, and it's gonna last a long time. So I'm happy to spend the cash. Anyway, I got extremely excited about this bag, so I thought I'd better share it with you. I think this is the kind of bag that everybody who has waders or is on the river or is fishing in this kind of environment needs in their arsenal. I've had this bag for a few weeks. I've been using it down on the river and I've got to say it's making a, just a dramatic difference to my life. Um, it just makes it easier and anything that's going to make my life a bit easier, I'm in for. 
Just make sure that you remember to go and clean it out afterwards, otherwise it might be a little bit whiffy. If you're interested in getting one, I shall leave a link in the description box below. Well, as always, I hope you enjoyed this brief review video. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I will look forward to seeing you on the next one.